What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trav 2323 and blind as a bat. Well, the battery on my G-Shock went out and I like my G-Shock. I have that nice Seiko watch and I prefer to just wear my G-Shock over my Seiko. So either way it goes. This G-Shock right here needs a Duracell 2016 at 750 for two batteries. So let's go ahead and change this G-Shock. Let me get you close up in here. I got the light on as best I can. Now, if you're gonna need these little screwdrivers, just buy the whole box of them and always keep them in the same place. And I even wrote small screwdrivers on the top of the box. But these look like they need Phillips. You see here, they look like they need Phillips, but this little screwdriver is really strong enough and fits perfectly in there to get these little screws out. Okay, now what I should have done was actually put these, I'll put the engine kit to do all the watches, but it doesn't have this tiny screwdriver in here. So see, I got the tiniest screwdriver ever. There's gonna be a gasket in there, a washer, because uh, this right here is uh, uh, waterproof. So there is gonna be a gasket in there somewhere. It's probably gonna be a super small gasket. I'm gonna try to get all these. Oh, this one's tight. There it is. The good thing with these screwdrivers is this top twist. So you actually turn this and you leave the pressure on with your hand this way. So right there, two. Now I know the luminous is not gonna work in this still, but the watch itself will still work. And I don't know why, it's maybe something in me that I really, Need to know the time, the date, and the uh, day of the week and the month. I don't know why. It's just so helpful to me to know all that all the time. On the back of your G-Shock, it actually says what type of battery that you need right here. So this is, the, I'm trying to keep using the light right here to open the G-Shock at the back of it. And you see there's the gasket for the G-Shock. You got to make sure that gasket stays on really good because that's what keeps it waterproof. Okay, now it says a uh, different type of battery. Now it says in the Philippines it's a B85 or M454. Now when you get to this point, you have to you need a, a bobby pin, not a bobby pin. What's this called? Just like a pen, like a sewing needle, a pin, a pin. You need a pen because there's a little hole right here that you stick the pin into. And when you stick the pin into this hole, you got to grab the other part of this little uh latch watch i'll show you when i get it off man it's hard with my focus trying to grab that thing there it is it's off that easy let me see if the other one come off nope ah, i should be able to get the battery out anyways okay this right here if you see it goes over you got to put the pin the pen in, in between this and you got to pull it off the clasp you pull it off the clasp but remember how this goes on. It's easy to get it on one. So we'll see how it's going to be on the other one. Okay, so here we go. Boy, I say kids swallow these. I can't even open them up. There it goes. All right, here's the battery right here. And you have to take this off right here, otherwise the battery will not work. That's just a safety measure. When you put this in, here is, the plus has to be up. And it, there's a little like brass piece right here. The battery has to go underneath it, and kind of into the sideways over here. So the battery is in, but it tries to push it back this way. You have to make sure it's underneath here and clipped in here pretty good. So you put, the clasp on one side of it in here. And then after it's down and everything, you gotta try to get your pen, your pin, and then you gotta try to get this all the way around it again. This is the this is actually the one that locks it in place. The other one's really easy to get on. And you gotta get this. And you got to stretch it over that. Just stretch it over there. See? It's on now. 
Okay, that's touching the battery. That's in right there. Everything's good to go. So then you get the back of your, well, you get the back of your battery. This goes right here. So I can remember to pull those pins out next time. Okay, then you get the back of your battery. You make sure you didn't knock off the gasket. And then you can put it on right here. I would actually put it on the way that this sits on the battery how it was okay so that's in right there kind of snap it in place and then everything's centered everything's on so let me make sure and i man these are going to be a nightmare to get these little batteries but i got to get these little batteries i mean not little batteries little screws back in here all right got that got this right here I'm just going to put them on really fast. I'm not going to bog them down yet. Kind of like a tire. I don't want to get it where it's uh, uneven. So the gas gets bending the wrong way. So I'm going to go kitty corner right here. The good thing is they actually go all the way in a deep hole so it's easier to kind of get the screw in and grab your screwdriver. Then I could tighten it down from there. Okay, those are tightened up good. Just like new. Look, the Indiglo works even. I didn't even think the Indiglo was gonna work. The Indiglo works again. Look at that. Okay, so now I just gotta set it regularly like you set your regular Iron Man. That right there is how to change the battery in a Timex Iron Man and the battery. What was the battery? Do you remember, love? 2016. A 2016. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.